All right, so, <laughs> how are you guys doing? We are here today with episode number 15 of Noob with a Mill. Still a little sick at the beginning of this. Hopefully I can get over it throughout this video, though. Have 134 mil cash, a 200 mil bank overall. Just 14 episodes. We started with one mil, and now we've progressed this far. As far as what I want to do this episode, I now have 86 range, 85 mage, so I might try to get to the point where we can do Zora, but realistically, I want an Abbey Demon's task or a Cave Kraken task, because I'm 87 Slayer and like 100k into it and haven't gotten either. Alright, so we we're about to finish up a quest. There is Sea Slug, and now I can finally do this medium clue that I've had in my bank. I feel like a noob. Here we go. First chest. And, alright. I mean, that's not bad. We got a blessing. That's cool. Another casket. Eh, purple sweets. 45k. We'll take it. And open this now. So, another clue scroll inbound. And another Addy set added to the collection. So, there we go. Another casket. Great. Alright. So, another medium clue done. Okay. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get another clue. Okay. Well, uh, miter and a boater. A little bit of uniques. Another casket. Okay, I mean, I guess that's something I can scam people with. And another casket. Okay, well, actually, that's a decent amount. Hell yeah. 80, like 90k from the teleports? We'll take it. And I don't know what number this is, but doesn't matter to me anymore. Easy. That sucks. Oh, nice and easy. Another one. Boom. And uh, DJ Khaled. Another one. <laughs> Ask it. Boom. Okay. And open. And Ranger Boots. Nope. And bang. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. We got ourselves another clue scroll. Alright. Alright. 14k cash. What the hell? Is that like rare? I don't I don't know what like I've never hit the cash table before, I don't think this and another medium done okay okay we'll take a page i mean it's not going to be worth anything but we'll take it another medium oh jesus another fucking mithril <laughs> kite shield g whatever man and just like that another clue scroll okay just like that nothing another casket nice and easy and another clue oh man we are killing it with the headband today though we're gonna look fucking swagged out like look at that shit and yeah nothing really to see here Oh, I guess those look pretty. Those look pretty fly. I won't lie. We're getting we're getting some hella that, that goes good with my top. I like it. All right, another chest. All right, another Addy. And here we go, another. Oh god. So streaming a little bit, but while I was doing those mediums, I did flip some arcanes actually. So this arcane I flipped for a good 450k, and then this one I flipped for about 200. So that's a good 650k profit. But yeah, other than that, not a whole lot going on. Time for another clue. Okay, oh yeah, there we go, full swagged out, look at that, pimping, we are pimping now, check it with the Addy, no, 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 headband, and there we go, another clue done, ranger boots, uh, okay, well, close enough, probably like the 25th fucking medium, but, <sighs> nothing but Addy plates, second to last medium clue that I'll be doing, and, oh my god, Wait, that's a short clue, there we go. Last casket that we'll be doing. 73. Nothing much to see here. Alright, well, there we go. So I've been merching a little bit. I uh, sold off a Dragon Hunter crossbow for a cool 500k profit. We're trying to sell off the other one for the same price. Actually, I think a little higher, but, you know, I'm greedy. Um, on top of that, end up selling off 10k mahogany logs for 42 GP more, so that's a 420k profit. But, yeah, so... All in all, we got a mill, pretty much merch, another 500k or so about waiting. Buying up some eclectics, I don't know. I don't know how many I'll merch, I might do some on stream. But yeah, got a lot of money hanging around. A little bit of money made, so as you guys can see, went ahead and bought the Ancestral Road Bottom for 10, or 110 mil, 250k. Sold on for pretty much 600k more, a little bit of profit there. Also sold on 2,000 unstrung symbols for a 45 GB profit each, so there's another 90k there, 700k total. Don't know if I messed up, but <laughs> we got all these things bought. Um, according to the website, GE Tracker, I can now go ahead and sell these on for 25,572, not 25,572k. I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Hopefully they sell. That's 153.4. I bought them for 152.6. So 
So it's going to be 800k profit if we can grab that. Apparently I could get more if I wanted to try to, but I'm not too... Uh, oh, ooh, I like that. I like that. Let's go. Well, so that's an 800k profit. I'm going to go ahead and merch another two, and then we should hit about a mil. In case anyone was wondering, I did end up selling off all the tassets. So go ahead and show that here in a second. So there they go, sold them off for 25550, at least the final three, the other one sold off for 22k more, but the margin kind of went down a little bit. Good one mil profit there on the eight that we were able to merch in four hours. I mean, it took like 10 minutes, but yeah. Alright, first little bit of post com of the episode, went ahead and got 86 magic, so one of many levels that you guys see in this video on that 94 grind. From there, go ahead and get ourselves a Greater Demon's task where I get 97 strength. Love an AFK Greater Demon's Task, which is why I missed the level, because I AFK a little too hard. Then from there, Jad Task we get, so let's go. Time for a random magic level, so 87 magic, not too bad, um, nothing really to unlock there, but just another magic level on the way to a 94. Back again with some post combat, we go ahead and finish off our Tazar task. Obviously, uh, gambled the fire cape and didn't get the pet at any point, but what's new? So, obviously on a little bit of a slayer grind here, as you guys have seen of late, I've really just been looking for some Abbey Demons, but we have not been getting them at all. It is tearing me apart. It's just like, I haven't gotten Abbey Demons, I haven't gotten Kraken, it's like, just give me something, man. I haven't... I haven't killed anything new at, since, I don't, I don't even know, I, I, I didn't do any spiritual mages, so obviously not 83, but as you guys can see, just going through a ton of tasks, um, I have some rune darts here that I was flipping, I'll talk about that more once I go back into livecom here in a second, but last task that I go ahead and get before livecom, KBD, let's do it. And here we are, so there was a merch that I had going on, that was a code I won, as you guys can see, 84.95, so I went ahead and made 900k off of that, and then earlier I was showing the rune darts, I ended up making about 700k off these, they had an insane margin, I bought 10,000 for 1238, sold most of them on for 1286, which is about a 50 GP margin on all of them, so that's a 500k profit, on top of that I was buying some rune darts P, and then cleaning them, I was making 20 GP off of each of those and got 10,000 of them, so not bad at all, we got a decent amount of money, I'm gonna go ahead and find some more merches, this is kind of a long term thing that I've been doing, I bought these for around 270-ish, and so I mean I went ahead and made uh, 180k on both of these, so that's a good 360k profit. I just figured there's not very many of them in the game, so their price goes up and down a lot. So I figured I'd capitalize on that. And now we have some Eclectics. Not a whole lot going on here. Eclectics are so cheap right now, and it's just like, at some point they have to go up. And I hope that I'm invested in them when they do. Straight postcom clip of 88 magic. There we go. Alright, so it is the morning, as as you do, and uh, a lot of stuff going on. So, Anku Top, as you guys can see, we went ahead and sold off for 600k profit. I'll take that happily. Um, we ended up getting 8k rune darts-ish for that price, and then we got another 4 for this. So, on average, we bought those for like 1, 2, 3, 6 or so. So, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can sell those off for. Uh, Mysterious Emblems bought, but before I go ahead and do this, I'm going to see if I can go back. Ah, I can. So, I sold off 250-ish Mysterious Emblems for 83k. I bought those for 79, so that's a 1 mil profit right there. Uh, I had a feeling they'd go up, and they kind of did last night, but I think they've gone back down a little bit. I don't think I'm going to lose that much money on them. I don't think I'll lose any money, to be perfectly honest with you. I think it's a pretty good merch, since... On the day of release, obviously a lot of emblems are going to be put into the game, but over time they will slowly go down um, because people will stop doing the Slayer Master. That's just the way it works. But right now, as you guys can see, there's still a 1.7k margin on them, so I may try it out. But apparently I can sell on the Mysterious Emblems for 8160, which would be a 2.6k profit. And granted, given that I have 600 of them, that's going to be around another 1.5 mil that I'll make there. I may flip them a little bit um, for this 1.6k margin, but not too bad at all. We're going to go ahead now and see what I can get on these rune darts. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and use a cleaning cloth on the rune darts that are poisoned. And as you guys can see, a 1274, which means I'll be making about, about 40 GP on each one. Which means, I mean, in total, that's about a 500k profit. Not too bad. Um, I'm just trying to just trying to keep up on uh, my, my magic and trying to make money merching while I do it. As you guys can see, I'm over halfway, I think, to 89. Um, I've just kind of had a lot of homework and need something to AFK and do, so merching and magic has been my meta. 
All right, back again. So the mysterious emblems, ooh, actually, look at this. We finally sold them all off. So that's like 170K profit per one. Pretty good money made there, a little over a mil. Um, that was a pretty long merch, but happy it finally happened. So as you guys can see, I went ahead and sold off 225 of these mysterious emblems. Um, those are still from the original batch. So these, I mean, I've already gone over how much I plan to make off of all these, but you guys have seen that. Um, on top of that, though, we bought a lot of Mysterious Emblems that I'm hoping to merch for pretty much 80k. So as you guys can see there, we got 1,000 almost bought. And we'll go ahead and collect them all. So 1330 Go ahead and see what we can sell them on for. Remember, I bought 1,000 new, 330 or old ones that I had. So 8,900 isn't great. We'll be making 800 coins per one, assuming they all sell. But the problem is you get undercut a lot with these. So, we'll see in due time if they sell. But that'd be an 800k profit. I guess I'll take it. I was hoping for more. I know that may sound a bit petty, but trust me. When you have this much money put into them, you kind of hope for more. At this point, I go ahead and get myself 89 magic. So, not too bad. Really doesn't unlock anything, obviously, on that grind to 94. But, go ahead and get ourselves another task. Another Jad task, and, I mean, I'm not really about it. I don't know why I do this. I go ahead and cancel it. I'm an idiot. If you guys ever want to cancel a Jad task, just die inside the caves. You save yourself points. The reason I canceled it, I mean, it's a good task. It gives me a chance at the pet, but at the time, I was really looking for AFK tasks. So, I go ahead and get myself a task from Duradel, which may look new, but think about it. 250 tasks, the new thing that they implemented, I got 525 points. That is insane. That brought us up to, like, 1.2k. Gives me so much freedom to cancel more tasks. I love it. But, uh, go ahead and finish off Iron Dragons, then we get some neck reels, which I eventually cancel. Alright, well, <laughs> shit. I was just killing some Ven, just chilling, playing a little bit of Rocket League, and then I looked down and I saw this. I figured someone logged in under me. Holy shit. 70kc, it's like a 1 in, I think, 2,000. I've got like 800kc on my main, and I haven't gotten it. And, <laughs> oh my god, that is great. I guess I'm going to go to Callisto now, because that's the only reason I was really there. It's one of my favorite pets in the game, to be honest. I'm so happy that I just got this. Alright, so that pet was pretty hype. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still pretty hyped about it, but I go ahead and cancel off this neck reel task just because, as I said before, I was looking for AFK task, and then I get myself a Jad task, and I'm like, fucking kill me. So I end up dying to that. We got ourselves some dags. I was a happy man. Go ahead and get ourselves another fucking Jad task, man. Okay, so last night before I went to bed, I tried to buy a bludgeon for 5% above and it didn't buy. And I'm like, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and make some profit off of this. So as you guys can see here, I went ahead and merged a bludgeon last night for 1 mil, another one for a mil, and another one for 900k. So 2.9 mil profit there. Our Mysterious Emblem merch is looking pretty poor right now. Um, basically, as you guys can, well, you guys can't see, I guess. But, we have 1.2 thousand of them. I bought them for about 80k. I still think that they can go up. I don't think that many people are actually going to be doing this wilderness slaying. And I think that emblems are just coming into the game rather quickly off that. I would imagine. And I think that this is just a, uh, a quick reaction by the economy. But, they've gone down even more. They're down to 71. Which means I will lose 10 mil off of this merch. Which is killing me, man. I don't know how far they could drop. And I don't want to panic sell them now. Because if I sell them now... Now, I'm falling into the trap that everyone else is falling into, which is just sell these, sell these, sell these. No one knows how much these things are actually going to come in the game off Wilderness Slayer. Wilderness Slayer will be obsolete, I would imagine. No one, I mean, the only reason you do it is for point boosting, which for any regular Slayer, you don't need. It's only people that are going for a Slayer Helm, so... I think over time, people have come to their senses, and these things should go up. But, I can also cut to this clip here in fucking five episodes, and they're 40k each. Who knows? And that'll be it for this video. So, basically, I haven't recorded anything in a little while. I'm kind of dropping frames a little bit right here. But, what I've been up to is pretty much magic. I got 90 um, just a little bit ago. I also have been working on agility. About to get 63. The main reason I'm working on agility is because, as you guys know, we haven't seen any Zora yet. And that's the best money maker in the game. So, uh-oh. Hey, what's going on, my man? I'm going to finish this outro, then talk to him. But, so, Zora is the best moneymaker in the game. I haven't done it yet. And so, I'm going to have to go ahead and do that after all these years. I've only been, <laughs> I've only been on YouTube for like a year. But, anyways, so... I haven't done any Zora. I think I have to get 71 agility, and then I'll be able to do it. So I'm hoping 
that we can get up there. It's going to be a grind. I hate agility, but I do also need the full graceful set. So that's what I've been up to. I'm going to go ahead now and get the bank value for this episode. So give me one second. And I have five mil in the grand exchange, just an item. So go ahead and take that into account. But calculate 216 mil in the bank. I take that all back. <sighs> that's not 216 mil. I thought it was. I was happy about it. Then I realized, Mysterious Emblems, not worth 117 mil, like I had thought. That's disappointing. Conduit, you're a piece of shit. I hope you know that. Alright, so while Conduit says that they are 117 mil, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what they are right now. So we multiply this times 75. Oh, duh. I guess we can do that and then subtract 1, 2, 1, 2. It, they're actually only 91 mil, so take go ahead and take off, what, 20... 20... 7 mil <laughs> off their estimate, or 20, 26 mil off of this. So we're actually at 195 mil, which makes a little bit more sense because I just, I've been spending money to go ahead and get this magic level up. Like, it makes sense to me that this is happening right now. But I'm really disappointed because I actually thought we made a ton of money this episode. We did not, but we have made a lot of progress, and that's what really counts. So, as far as the Zolra grind goes, once we can get there, the money will start pouring in, the merch will start going, everything will be good, can promise you that. So, tomorrow I'll be releasing a video on the Whip versus the Arc Light, so if you guys want to see that, make sure to hit the sub button. If you guys enjoy my content anyways, feel free to hit the sub button, it shows me a little bit of support. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, anything you guys want to tell me about, go ahead and comment about it down below, and uh, yeah, Twitter in the description. But, with that said though, I hope you guys have